So let's do a couple of other things to clean up our groups a little bit. We've got this new machine group for setup two, and then we've got toolpath group two. And then we've got this flip. Well, I really don't want it to output the flip as part of my program. So what I'm going to do is click on top of this machine group. I'm going to right click my mouse and I'm going to go up to groups and tell it to create a new toolpath group. Okay, and what we're going to do is click on this once and give it a new name. And I'm going to say post these files. Then I'm going to pick this rough and the C-axis and the transformation toolpaths. And then I'm just going to hold down my left mouse button and drag that down to the other group. It looks like we need to update that one. Let's hit regenerate. And then for this toolpath group, I'm going to click on that once and then once more slowly. And I'm just going to say, do not post this. So in other words, I can pick this group here and then post my code. So if we hit post now, it'll say not all operations are selected, but that's okay. It says, do you want to post all? I'm going to say no. So this is actually starting with tool number five. Not really worried about the tool numbers. But there it roughs off the nose, it mills the front hex, and then it mills the slots. So we covered a lot of things in this. We covered some ID work using drills and boring tools. We covered how to use the stock flip to flip the part on the screen, but maybe not flip the part in your program. And we've also talked about using multiple machine groups in case you're going to be posting different operations to different machines. And of course we talked about C-axis contouring for face and cross.